doing things their way, and they are pushing back. And they're doing it in conjunction with Democrats under the guise of impeachment to make it look like... In other words, Donald Trump's doing exactly what you elected him to do, and these people are trying to stop him. And since they can't stop him in every way, they're trying to say he's doing criminal things, impeachable things. I mean, looked at in that light, it's, it's, not, it's not complicated to, uh, to understand. Whistleblower Eric Shimarella can't stand cross-examination. Schiff would no longer subject him to it than he would anybody else. The more we are learning of Vindman, the worse it gets, given his contacts, and the worse it I mean, this guy is the aide-de-camp to McMaster. These guys are all thick as thieves. These are, these are people part of the National Security Council. They're under Obama or have deep ties to the deep state. And, and they, they simply just can't abide Trump being president. They can't abide him coming in and taking over their walls and doing their jobs, upsetting all the work that they have done. You know what? Vindman's beef? Vindman's beef? Lieutenant Colonel Vindman, who Kasich says, when this guy testifies, things will change. He just doesn't like Trump's foreign policy. This guy had no problem with Biden as the blow man in Ukraine. None of these people had any problem with Biden and his kid running a scam deal there. They all know about it. They didn't have a problem with it. Because Obama was implementing their foreign policy, so it didn't matter. If Trump was implementing... Well, I won't go that far. They're going to be opposed to Trump no matter what he does. This is why Trump cannot ever move in their direction. It won't matter. These people, when you boil it all down, seem to think that the president doesn't make foreign policy. They do. And that's in large part what uh, this is about. Speak, grab somebody number one. Speaking of a whistleblower, this is uh, NPR this morning, Morning Edition. They played a portion of a report by one of their reporters, Bobby Allen. Rush Limbaugh, online conservative publications and elsewhere, you know, really trying to out this individual. The individual's name has been out there. Um, it's not been confirmed anywhere. And the whistleblower's lawyers have not confirmed any of these reports. Um, they also haven't denied any of the reports. But here's what we do know, that this whistleblower is from the intelligence community. And that's basically it. What do you mean haven't denied any of his reports? That's the thing. Everything the whistleblower said has been denied because the transcript...